This video is looking at control of heart and initiation of the heartbeat. The heart is controlled by the coordinator, part of the brain known as the medulla oblongata. This can be divided into two centres, the cardio inhibitory, which slows down both the rate and contraction strength of the heart, and the cardio acceleratory, which increases the rate of heartbeat and indeed the strength of contraction. These are linked via the SAN, the sinoatrial node, this is an electrical node in the atria of the heart, via the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. Sympathetic nervous system, as I said, increases the rate of heart contraction and indeed the strength of the contraction. The parasympathetic slows the rate down and reduces the strength of the contractions. The sympathetic nervous system does this by releasing a chemical called noradrenaline, which binds to the SAN and causes an increase in the rate and strength of contraction of the heart, whereas the parasympathetic nervous system reduces a chemical called acetylcholine, which reduces the rate of contraction and the strength of contraction of the heart. These two centres, the cardioinhibitory and cardioacceleratory, are stimulated by two receptors which are located in the aorta and carotid arteries. These being chemoreceptors, which detect changes in pH and carbon dioxide levels, and baroreceptors, which detect changes in pressure. Chemoreceptors, if we see an increase in carbon dioxide levels, or usually a decrease in pH, becoming more acidic because of the carbon dioxide forming carbonic acid in the blood, these will cause an increase in the strength and rate of contraction via the sympathetic nervous system releasing noradrenaline which binds to the SAN causing this increased rate of contraction and this increased strength in contraction. Um, when levels return to normal or to get levels back to normal the parasympathetic nervous system would release acetylcholine which again binds to the SAN and reduces rate and strength of contraction. Similarly the baroreceptors these detect pressure, changes in pressure, so if blood pressure, blood pressure is dropping, we would see the sympathetic nervous system again releasing noradrenaline, binding to the SAN, increasing both rate and strength of contraction, and where blood pressure is too high, we would see the parasympathetic nervous system releasing acetylcholine, again binding to the SAN, which would reduce the strength and rate of contraction. We turn now to how the heart actually initiates a heartbeat. We see the heart is myogenic, this means it acts as a pacemaker, it will beat on its own. The SAN, the sinoatrial node, which is this electrical node here, located in the atria, sends an electrical impulse which causes the atria to contract, thereby pushing blood down into the ventricle. The atria is separated from the ventricle via a layer of non-conductive tissue as we do not want the ventricle to contract due to electrical activity in the atria. There is then a short delay whilst the ventricle fills with blood from the atria. Once that's happened, we see an electrical impulse being sent by the AVN, the atrioventricular node. This sends an electrical impulse down these fibres here in the septum of the heart, called the bundle of Hiss, and the electrical impulse then spreads down through the apex of the heart here, down on the walls of the ventricle, to something called the Purkinje fibres. This ensures that we see contraction of the ventricles from the apex or from the bottom upwards, thereby basically meaning that the largest amount of blood is pushed out of the heart from the bottom up up through, in this case, the aorta.